Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of Technovation. We've got a jam-packed episode for you with our usual news roundup, a fascinating explanation on algorithms, and some fun facts. So, without much further ado, let's get started. Researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology are developing a diamond-based quantum sensor test to detect COVID. This new approach may offer faster, cheaper, and more accurate detection according to a research report done by the university. Existing tests for the coronavirus include rapid tests that detect specific viral proteins and RT-PCR tests that take several hours to process. Neither of these tests can quantify the amount of virus present with high accuracy, and even the gold standard RT-PCR tests might have false negative rates of more than 25%. But this newest test could bring the false negative rates to under 1% and detect a few hundred strands of the viral RNA within just a second. Virtual reality and augmented reality headset shipments are expected to grow about 10 times to 105 million units in 2025 from 11 million units in 2021. The main reason for this is the growing virtual landscape called the metaverse. VR and AR are no longer just seen as gimmicks or for gaming. Instead, they point towards a future of a fully digital landscape. The United States of America and China are predicted to be the countries with the highest users of AR and VR headsets, as both have incredibly robust technological infrastructure for 5G. Are you excited about AR and VR? Let us know in the comments section below. Technology company LG Electronics is developing a key technology that will allow car owners to start their cars with facial recognition technology. This will enable users to start their vehicles as well as make adjustments to control the vehicles through facial expression and hand gestures. What's even more impressive is that it can detect if the driver is drowsy or has sudden illness by monitoring their eyelids and facial movements. This is quite a cool technology and we hope to see it adopted in all cars. That's all the news we have for you. But don't you worry, we've got a fascinating explanation of algorithms coming right up. Hello, iClaspers. Welcome to the segment where we try to break down complex tech concepts and terminology for you. Today, we have an exciting segment because we are going to tell you what an algorithm is. Now, of course, algorithms are quite complicated. So I'm going to use the popular social media site, Facebook, to help me explain it. The Facebook algorithm or rather any algorithm, is a tool which decides what posts you'll see when you refresh your newsfeed and the order in which those posts show up. In other words, the algorithm is the way Facebook decides what you see and when you see it. On Facebook, posts don't appear in chronological order. Rather, the algorithm analyzes every single post and gives it a scope on the basis of its estimate of how interested you will be in it and then shows them to you in the descending order of your perceived interest. So, how does it do all of this? Well, Facebook takes every post uploaded by the accounts the user follows since the last time they refreshed their newsfeed and scores these posts based on some predetermined parameters like when the post was uploaded, whether it was a video or a picture, etc. Then, it eliminates those posts the user is unlikely to be interested in based on their past behavior. Let's also take a quick look at roughly four parameters Facebook uses to score a given post. First is relationship. Is the post from an account that the user often engages with through tags, follows, comments, etc. Second is content type. What type of media is in the post? Is it a video or a photo or even a GIF maybe? And how often does the user engage with that specific content type? Third is popularity. How are people, and especially friends of the user, in question who have already seen the post 
reacting to it in terms of likes and dislikes. The final parameter is recency, with the most recently uploaded posts given a higher ranking. So, algorithms actually do quite a bit. So next time you open Facebook, Instagram, or even YouTube, you will better understand why you're seeing certain content. That's all the time I have for you, but don't worry. Technovision continues with some really cool facts about mobile phones coming right up. Today's fun facts are all about the gadget you might be using right now to watch this video. The mobile phone. Now, you got to keep up with me, okay? I'm just going to list out a bunch of facts and I want you to see how many of them you remember. Okay, let's start. Motorola released the world's first mobile phone, the DynaTag 8000X, in 1983. The first mobile phone call, however, took place 10 years before that, on April 3, 1973, when Martin Cooper, a Motorola researcher, placed the call on a prototype device. Mobile phones, or now the more prevalent term, smartphones, are more powerful than the computers and technology used in the Apollo 11 moon landing, according to NASA. In fact, in the modern day statistics show that there are five times the number of mobile phones compared to personal computers. More people in the world have access to a mobile phone than a toilet, which is quite sad. With there being so many mobile phones in the world, there is also a ton of electronic waste. Did you know that one ton of mobile phone waste could contain 60 times more gold than one ton of gold? In 2015, in fact, Apple reclaimed close to $40 million worth of gold by recycling old iPhones. So remember to always keep your electronic waste well, as maybe over many years in accumulation, you could find yourself with some gold. That's all the facts we have for you on mobile phones. Before we end though, let's quickly take a look at who made it into the iGrass Hall of Fame this week. This week, we would like to congratulate Jinal Mehta from Delhi Public School, Noida, who has been inducted to the iGrasp Hall of Fame for coming first in our Technovation quiz. When asked about satellites, Jinal said satellites are like safety dogs. They keep a watch on us all the time and warn us of any danger. Coming in second is Arsh Ali from Tagore International School, east of Kailash, who has said that our modern life would not be the same without satellites. Congratulations to both our inductees this week. The Technovation Quiz is a unique opportunity for you to flex those brain muscles and show us how brainy you are in matters of tech. All you need to do is click on the link in the description, put in your details and do the quiz. There are some great prizes waiting for you to those who come in first and second. The winner will receive an Android app development course worth Rs 6000 for absolutely free. Now not everyone can be a winner, so therefore the runner-up will receive a scratch programming course worth 3000 rupees once again for free. Our tech partners SP Robotic Works will help you level up your skills and make you take charge of your future because remember, the future is now. Be quick though, as preference will always be given to those who answer first. Win the course and be inducted into the iGrasp Hall of Fame to do your school and yourself proud. Thank you for watching Technovation. We'll be back in two weeks and until then, stay safe and keep yourselves future ready. Because the future is now. Thank you.